In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each element here in K3FeCn6, potassium ferrocyanate. To do that, first we need to realize there's no negative or positive sign after this formula here. That's because it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers are going to add up to zero. Potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table. That's going to be plus one. So each one of these potassium atoms will have a plus one oxidation number. Iron, that's a transition metal. We don't know what that is. We need to look at what it's bonded to to figure that out. And then we get to the carbon and the nitrogen here. That's a little bit complicated. Carbon and nitrogen, they don't show up in our rules here. The trick is that this is called the cyanide ion. And the whole cyanide ion has an ionic charge of 1 minus. When we have an ion, all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to the charge on the ion. So we know that the oxidation numbers for the carbon and the nitrogen, that's going to equal minus 1. So now we can just set an equation up. 3 times 1, that's 3, plus the iron, we don't know that, plus 6 times this minus 1, that's minus 6, that equals 0. So we have x minus 3 will equal 0, add 3 to both sides, and x equals a positive 3. So the oxidation number on the iron here in this potassium ferrocyanate, that is a plus 3. If you're asked to find the oxidation number for the carbon and the nitrogen in the cyanide ion, there's a link in the description for how to do that. It's a little bit more complicated, but we do use the same rule here that the ion, all the oxidation numbers add up to 0. This is Dr. V with the oxidation numbers for K3FeCn6. Thanks for watching.